Hey there, it's Lindsay, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my setup with my laptop and my desktop monitor so that you can get more um, use out of your laptop instead of always looking at a tiny screen. I'm gonna switch my camera to, you know, forward facing so you can see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> So this looks all unorganized and that's just because I just unplugged everything so that you can see what I have going on. But so my laptop has these connectors on them. They're called USB-C's. Let's see if it'll focus. headphone jack so when I wanted to hook up everything to my desktop monitor I was like oh gosh how am I gonna do this well this thing is I guess it's called like a dongle um, I got it off of Amazon and I'll have all of these links below so you can see but it plugs both of these plug in to the side and then over here you can see I have a power port, I have two USB ports, and I have an HDMI port. And I also have an SD card and a smaller card too. Um, it might even on here, what does it say? Micro SD and SD. Okay, so that's super convenient. So then all I have to do is have this thing with me if I need anything else. Like if I have to get something off of a hard drive or if I wanna plug other things in, like in a second you'll see that I plug this guy in to give me four extra ports and um, everything. So I'm going to, what I do is I plug this into the side of my computer. So plug it in right here. I'm sorry if this is not steady. This is totally just a quick video. Um, I plug this one in for power, and then I can plug other things in. So what I normally have plugged in is my monitor. I have uh, my power. I have a mouse, which runs off of this little USB thing, and the mouse is right there. <laughs> I have my keyboard, and then I, if you know, if I'm video editing, I'll also plug in this palette gear thing, which is super helpful for editing videos. And then I'll also plug in my webcam too, and use that as well. Um, you know, I have this Yeti mic and I really don't use it as much anymore. Um, just because you get good enough sound with these headphones. So yeah, but I'm gonna plug everything in so you can see how it works. But just to, you know, give you a quick overview, the HDMI port is right here. It is plugged into the back of this monitor. The keyboard and everything are these plugs, and they will go into this little thing. This little thing plugs in right here, and that's it. Now, you know, I only have this set up when I'm sitting at my desk and I need more um, screen space. If I'm just using my laptop, I just use my laptop. I don't have to worry about all this stuff. But if you want to sit at your desk and you want to get more out of your laptop, this is the way to do it. So I'm going to plug everything in and then show you what it looks like when it's not all messy. Okay, so as you see right back here, I have the HDMI port plugged in, I have the power plugged in, and I also have this little guy plugged in. And I always just try to make it look really, you know, organized so that if I need 
to get into anything I can. And then um, now I need to plug in my keyboard. And this is a Logitech, no, Logic, what is it? I think it's a Logic keyboard. Yeah, it's a Logic keyboard. And what's really cool about this keyboard, let me see it, let me just watch this when you plug it in. Ta-da! It lights up, which is so nice when you're editing because you can, um, you know, see everything if you want to do editing with, with the lights dim or whatever. It's super easy to switch your keys. And then, um, if I was using my palette here, it also gets really cool too when you plug it in. So I can plug it in right here. And like it has, I don't know, I would organize my cables. But it has fun colors as well, which are super neat. Um, yeah, so a lot of people had asked, well, how do you access your laptop if it's closed? You know, how do you get to it? So as you saw earlier, I plugged in, you know, I plugged in the keyboard. And I also plugged in this little this little receiver, USB receiver for the mouse. So if you watch, if I just click a few times on my mouse or on the keyboard, it should register on my monitor. Ta-da! So now all I have to do is sign in. And now, oh, here we go. I guess I should have cleaned off my desktop. Okay, so see how it went out like that? It went dark for a second. That means that one of my connections isn't, isn't that good yet. So what I usually come in here and do is just make sure that this one back here, that little dongle thing is flat and it's all good. But now it should be fine. So you can see if I wanted to do anything here, I can. And look, now <laughs> close all my windows. If you know, if I'm editing a video, for example, you can see how much space I have with so there's my whole screen and my setup with my laptop. So I don't have a Mac, uh, you know, like an iMac. I'm running this whole setup off of my laptop. So again, I'll just stand up so you can see my desk setup. But, but yeah, so it's super convenient to have all of these things. And most likely you already have a mouse and a keyboard, you know, just laying around from an old computer and you might even have a monitor. So I would just look at your connections that you have on your MacBook or your laptop. You can do this on PCs too and just see how to do it so you can do it as well. But this whole setup with the keyboard, the mouse and the external monitor, I think total that's maybe like $300. A new iMac is <laughs> what? like. I don't even know what they run at over now, but I know they're over a thousand dollars. So that's just something to keep in mind if you want to get more, you know, screen space out of your laptop. So Amanda, I hope that that was helpful for you. And if anybody has any questions about this, just leave them in the messages below or send me a message at hello at hazelhaven.com and I'll help you out there. But thanks so much for watching.